Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria NPC Olympic Contention Round. Today we are here, we're going to be taking NPCs and throwing them in an arena and seeing if they can last and fight off all the monsters they go up against. But before we see our 8 contestants go up against these monsters, let's get a word from our sponsors. So we are yet again sponsored by the lovely Amino app. Amino is an app that lets you discover, explore, and obsess over things that you're into. And recently, Amino has added in a new story feature. So say if I wanted to look up stories based on my favorite game, aka Terraria, I would type it into the search bar and slide over to topics and bam, a bunch of Terraria content to sift through. Have you guys ever wondered what the behind the scenes looks like for some of my videos? Well, look no further because I've created my own Amino story strong off some of the behind the scenes content. Go ahead and search the name Game Ready 101 and check out my global profile but also make sure to hit that follow button on my profile and boom you can start watching my stories it's as easy as that so our contestants are going to be going up against three rounds starting with the first round being undead miner second rounds being ancient chargers and the third round being nymphs now if they beat all three of these rounds which honestly i don't expect but we'll see and they go on to the bonus round and they beat the bonus round that is a guaranteed spot in the olympics we're taking the top two from this event and they are going to the npc olympics let's get to it so our first contestant is the chef npc from the thoria mod james nope jamie is his name so let's see him go against these three undead miners three two one begin now what the hell where did he throw that the chef npc is actually pretty damn strong in terms of offense and he keeps throwing plates who knows where those plates are going they're probably hitting something in space but pretty strong npc because his projectiles go super far and super straight good job jamie the chef from thorium you will be moving on to the next round next up is a personal favorite of mine the one-eyed truffle npc from terraria let's do it begin now the truffle has a very interesting type of attack because he does like a little tiny like meditation thing and then it spawns in a bunch of spores around him and they do a lot of damage it's just it is a very slow attack and uh, as you can see he's already like at a quarter health almost half health but he easily kills everything from a decent length away very good attack moving on to the next npc the tavern keeper npc from vanilla terraria let's do it let's put him to the test three two one begin now tavern keeper also i think is a pretty strong npc but modded npcs are probably going to be way better than all vanilla npcs but we'll see we'll see he's a little bit on the slower side in terms of offense but he still has pretty heavy attacks hitting him for a nice 82 and uh those glass mugs or whatever he throws the bottle glasses is glasses right glasses of ale no they're pretty strong he's Kind of slowing the draw right now. And he's very close. Oh my god. We have our first elimination early. The Tavern Keep NPC. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You guys got to keep in mind that this is still the first round. So if you get knocked out, you're knocked out for good. Moving on though to the Witch Doctor. Which is a... I don't know how good of an NPC the Witch Doctor is in terms of offense. But we're about to see. Three, two, one begin now i know the witch doctor yep right there shoots a little blow dart and the blow dart does decent damage but it is kind of slow you know the witch doctor fighting a lot faster than the uh, tavern keep a lot more on the offensive side as you see when the witch doctor is in the corner going into turtle mode not really i don't that really doesn't have anything to do with what the witch doctor is doing he's just standing in the corner and shooting at people but let's see if the witch doctor can do this as you notice most of oh oh my god just accepting defeat we have another elimination in the first round this is upsetting you really hate to see it moving on to an npc that has a lot in common with the miners because they all used to be in the mines together the demolitionist let's see if he can pull this out because uh these last two npcs they've lost and i've done extensive testing and most of the npcs they've won every single fight so i don't know what's going on with them but let's do it it begins now the demolitionist has aoe attack so he should be able to dominate this but i don't know i don't know sometimes when npcs get in the corner their their ai just straight up dies it just vanishes they don't throw anything but he's throwing something he's throwing something unlike the last two rounds oh oh that was really close he was just testing he was testing them but you see the aoe attacks coming in handy there, killing two monsters at once so let's see if he could pull this out he's making it very close though with those hits he just took right there he's making it very close he's got a lot of knockback with those grenades so he should really use them to his advantage keep in mind that npcs only target monsters at a certain 
certain range it's like 10 blocks or something like that so uh let's hope that that doesn't have a problem at any point in time you know with an enemy being too far but there you go that demolitionist moving on to the second round moving on to our next contender here the blacksmith npc from the thorium mod also known as paul let's do it three two one your battle may commence now oh don't know where he threw that the blacksmith npc's attacks are not too bad at all they're pretty strong they pierce which is a very good thing which is going to help out a lot you notice some npcs are stronger than others but uh there's some npcs that are extremely strong and i tried not to include them in this contest uh, i'll probably include them in a contest that doesn't involve combat but i don't know we'll see easily paul the blacksmith easily clears that round moving on to the next round moving on to another thorium npc here the tracker also known as kwan my bad i forget to scroll over their names probably because their name's gonna change when i respawn them in but let's do it kwan he is a sword user one of our first melee users i believe in this specific competition i think the only melee user so let's see how good he is that sword has some range and it has some damage so the short range makes up for the damage no wait the damage makes up for the short range something like that but look at that easily qualifies for the next round i know you guys know who's next the man the myth the bones rattles magoo now we're gonna put him as the final contestant in this competition and we're gonna see if he qualifies for the second round and then he has to beat the second round go to the third round and if he beats the third round he qualifies for npc olympics pretty much because i don't think many npcs are gonna get past that third round or even get past the bonus round but let's see rattles magoo everyone's fan favorite let's see how good he does three two one begin rattles magoo he throws bones i know unexpected where's he getting those bones from no idea either from his bones of his enemies or his actual bone he's losing like a couple pieces right there was that a tibia i just saw him throw he's not looking too good though he's done what most npcs do and that's where they trap themselves in the middle if he gets out of it he may have a chance if he just keeps throwing come on rattles you got this don't do it rattles okay he's actually throwing stuff he's not going in the corner and just going dumb come on rattles handle this you have let down so many people in the past by your terrible racing skills <laughs> But boom bada bing rattles qualifying for the second round he made it close but he did qualify in the end so six out of eight npcs are moving on to the second round where they will be taking on three ancient charges from the thorium mod let's see if they can do it these monsters do not exactly hit hard they're just really fast and they can hit you multiple times so let's see if the npcs can take them on it has come to my attention that this npc is called the cook and not the chef oops my bad but three two one your battle may commence now like I said, fast moving NPCs, but very weak. The chef should be able to take this on no problem because he has very fast projectiles that shoot in a straight line. But he kind of went dumb for a second there, but it's all good. He finishes it out strong. Moving on to our next contestant here, the truffle. I expect this to be no problem for the truffle with his very large attack. Three, two, one, begin your battle truffle. Let's see though. Let's see if it can even get the attack off because if it doesn't get the attack off, we don't know that attack does take a little bit to get off so the truffle having troubles oh there we go good attack good attack Ooh, truffle you need to finish this out strong one more hit truffle one more hit oh two more hits the truffle got one more hit oh he's not so oh and the truffle the truffle my favorite has been knocked out of contention i'm sorry my sweet prince you may rest now moving to our next npc the tracker let's go ahead and begin the round in three two one activate tracker let's see how he does this oh man he's done, doing it really quick with that sword You're able to get two hits off really quick that charger if he wanted drop some pants he could put those on all right moving on to demolitionist which i expect to be able to take on this round quickly because of his aoe damage but let's see if he even gets the grenades off okay get some off right there he needs to throw a little bit faster if he wants to win this he needs to throw some grenades in general if he wants to win this and the speed of the charges is just too overwhelming for him to handle and there goes the demolitionist out in round two you know most of the npcs that i have expected we're gonna have an easy time are having troubles so the blacksmith i think you're gonna have an easy time in this one hopefully that doesn't jinx anything but he does have aoe or not aoe he does have piercing attacks which should be really strong against these guys but that's the thing the npcs they gotta actually attack the less time they spend attacking the more time they're gonna spend getting hit over and over again 
And as you can see, oh, he missed that. That was an important shot he just missed. And I think that just ended his own run. Yep. You hate to see it. If he didn't miss that piece of hot coal or whatever he's throwing, he might have still been alive and able to contend for the third round. We have everyone's fan favorite Rattles Magoo on round two. Let's see if he can go two of two in this contention round. Rattles Magoo, let's do it. Begin. Oh, seems that I have put two rattles magoo together so let's see if they can they like literally they can pull this out both of them now it is a 2v3 and no other npc has had this advantage so you expect rattles magoo oh both of them missing both of them missing at the same time let's hope that they can pull this out it's not looking too good anymore it really is not looking too good anymore they had two but can they finish it off maybe one of them might have to go oh <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see it. It seems even with an unfair advantage that everyone's fan favorite still could not contend. Who would have thought? All right, so that was the end of the second round. A lot of NPCs being knocked out, really strong. The strong from the week. Our last, what, there's only two NPCs? We're down to our finalists here. The tracker and the chef. Now let's see if they can take on a nymph. So I originally was gonna do one nymph, but since these two NPCs already qualified, for the NPC Olympics because of the last two we're gonna do two v1 with two nymphs let's do it let's see if he can do this the tracker we're starting with him first instead of the cook slash chef whatever you want to call him pretty much the same thing right but let's see I don't know I feel like a chef is more like an art you know what I'm saying if you cook something if you're a cook you just cook something if you're a chef, you cook like it's art. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but congratulations to Tracker. He gets to go to the bonus round. See, I feel like maybe it would have made more sense if I was talking about that chef and cook thing during this round, but it's all good. Three, two, one, begin the third and final round before you do the bonus round, which uh, honestly, I didn't think any P NPCs were gonna make it to, but these two NPCs have shown that they have the skills to pay the bills. They're gonna get that fat check if they win the NPC Olympics, that is. So for the bonus round, we're gonna put five of each NPC. So we got five chefs or five cooks, and then we got five trackers, and we're gonna put them up against King Slime. Shout out to Penguin. I know he's one of the people that did the NPCs versus boss fight thing. So let's do it. Can five of each of these NPCs take on King Slime? It's looking easy already. It's looking easy. But there is, oh, we, we're losing some. We're losing some. I think we're down. Oh my God, we're down a lot now. I don't know how many chefs there are. They're all in that right corner. We need the King Slime to get on the other side. Or we need the NPCs to go to the other side. We need something. I think the cooks, they can still hit the King Slime from over there. Whether it's on purpose or on accident. Other, left side, left side, guys. Come on. Come on, let's get to the left side. <laughs> there we go. King Slime coming back over here. This is a really good combo, though. This, oh my god, now they have to clean up the slimes if they want to consider this a win. I think it's a win no matter what. There's way, way too many chefs, I think, still alive in that right corner. I see one chef. Was that two more? I don't know. They're, oh, damn. Okay, well, I threw him into the action. Oh, they might lose another one. Oh, okay. They, they did pretty good against the King Slime, who has almost 3,000 health. But yeah, one chef. That's guaranteed one chef. Two chefs, okay. And four trackers. So only one tracker died. You know, one got really close. I'm gonna throw him up there. Okay, I guess I guess we literally did throw him up there. I meant to yeet him over there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to our sponsors, Amino, for sponsoring another video. And uh, make sure to check out my profile. I post behind the scenes stuff there every now and then. But yeah, that's the second event for the NPC Olympics contender round. We got two more events where we'll have more NPCs contend for the actual NPC Olympics. So be ready for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see y'all next time. I love you. Make sure to sub. We're almost at 100k.